This pattern is called a squonker. It is a zonker style pattern where I simply use pine squirrel instead of the more familiar rabbit. The hair is shorter and has a nicer texture to it. The hook is a partridge, barbless ideal nymph hook in a size 8. And the thread is Benecci, 12 volt in black, and simply attached at the eye. Run down a little bit. The waist is trimmed. The ribbing material is dark copper wire, tied in and kept running underneath the hook shank, right up to the bend. For the body material, I'm using a dyed chestnut pine squirrel. I've just taken the under fur and we'll dub that on in a conventional manner by twisting it around the thread. and then form a simple level body. Stopping short at this point. The wing is dyed olive brown uh, pine squirrel as well. I have cut away a small section of the strip and I've made a slight taper to the pelt and the same at the start. It is sized so that it extends past the bend for about half to three quarters of another shank length and just tied in in front of the dubbed body. And it's kept on top. The ribbing is now used to tie the wing down. And the way to do that is simply to lift in the right spot. Now, the initial turn is important. There is some torque that will be applied by the copper wire. So I'm holding the wing slightly towards me so it will now roll on top with the torque. Then just open up for the next turn. Stroke the hair back on top. Open up. And work forward towards the eye. All the while keeping the wing square on top. And finally cross in front of the thread. Tie it down. And wiggle the wire to break it. Can now check the wing. Looks okay. For the collar, again pine squirrel, back to the chestnut. I've trimmed away a short section to give an indication of the amount that I'll use for the collar. It's inserted into the split thread, so the thread is first flattened then the dubbing needle is used to make a split. Flatten it a bit more. Sometimes it plays nice, other times it takes a little bit more effort. A 
now it's split. The hair is pulled perpendicular to the skin and then simply snipped. and inserted into the split thread which is allowed to close and trap the hair and simply spin the woven holder and allow the twists to run up the thread twist a little bit more now have this brush. It's stroke back with each turn and then simply work towards the eye. Once the eye is reached there's any of the hairs pulled out of the way and a small neat head can be formed and then finish off with a three turn whip finish And the squonker is complete.